Young and the Restless Bombshell, Jordan's Hospital Drama and Phyllis's Shocking Act. In a jaw-dropping twist, Jordan disrupts Phyllis's fiery escapade from her hospital bed, sending shockwaves through Genoa City. Meanwhile, Lily faces a tsunami of chaos, from Daniel's betrayal to Heather's double-cross. But amidst the chaos, Christine and Danny heat things up, while Nikki faces Victor's wrath over Jordan's fate. Can they contain the turmoil, or will Jordan's schemes wreak havoc once more? Don't miss the explosive drama unfolding on the young and the restless. Plus, get the inside scoop on Lily's return and Adam's turbulent journey ahead. Watch now for all the must-see spoilers. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jordan disrupts Phyllis's fire alarm from her hospital bed. According to the Young and the Restless teasers for Monday, March 25th, Devin Hamilton Winters and Daniel Romilotti Jr. will have a crucial conversation at Chancellor Winters. Devin will make it plain that Daniel shouldn't even consider going back to Lily Winters and pleading for another chance if he wakes up one day and realizes he's made a mistake. Daniel will remind Devin that he lives and works in the same building as Lily, even if Devin will feel it's best if he stays a distance from her. Daniel will realize that Devin might be discussing getting rid of Omega Sphere, and Devin will acknowledge that he has considered doing so. Devin will remind out that they could always keep the divide and replace Daniel, but Lily will have the last word in that matter. After they speak, Devin promises to let Daniel know what Lily decides. Heather Stevens is going to run into Lily at Crimson Lights and follow her out onto the terrace to say sorry. Lily will feel differently, thinking that Heather started focusing on Daniel as soon as she left town, even though Heather would insist that nothing was planned. Since Daniel betrayed Lily after years of friendship and Heather did this after Lily provided her a job, Lily would view this as a double betrayal. Lily will assert that Heather made her decision and is now going to make her own once she orders Heather to leave. Lily won't say she's chosen yet and will stomp off when Heather assumes she's getting fired. Lily will see Daniel on her way out, but she won't be interested in striking up a conversation before heading to work. Heather will admit that she doesn't think Daniel and Lily have yet witnessed the full scope of Lily's rage after telling him about their encounter. Lily will berate Devon at Chancellor Winters for running into Heather and confess that she had thought of closing Omega Sphere and letting Daniel go. Lily will admit that Omega Sphere is successful and that Heather is a helpful attorney after admitting that she has fantasies about shoving Heather out too. Devon, Lily's business partner, should advise her whether she needs to swallow her pride and put on her big girl pants. Devin will believe that Lily must go to any lengths to find happiness, while Lily will act as though this notion is unattainable. Christine Williams will formally accept to go with Danny Romilotti on his first leg of the tour at the GCAC, suggesting that they forego breakfast in order to book a suite together. Phyllis Summers will discover Christine alone and make fun of her for being miserable and alone while Danny is away checking into a room. Christine will get Danny's text regarding the room number and smugly argue that Phyllis is mistaken. Phyllis will lurk outside Christine and Danny's door while they are in a suite making love. When Phyllis sees the fire alarm, she will become inspired and pull it, puncturing her finger in the process. YNR teasers claim that while the alarm is going off, Phyllis will run out while sucking on her finger to calm it. Jordan's fate will become clear at the Newman Ranch when Nikki, Victoria, and Claire Grace discuss what transpired in that cellar. Nikki won't regret her choice as she couldn't descend to Jordan's level, but Victor Newman will be upset with her for dialing 911 rather than letting Jordan pass away. Nikki will also believe that Jordan would have been better off suffering for years in prison if that had been the simple option. Victor will eventually phone Memorial to inquire about Jordan's condition since he fears that she might escape from the hospital. Victor will break the terrible news when he gets back since Jordan is recovering and will shortly be moved to a maximum security jail. 
Victor can only hope that this time they are aware of who they are dealing with and are able to contain her. Claire will acknowledge that she would have loved Jordan to disappear permanently. Claire continues, I wouldn't have cried if the poison had done its job. With the exception of the period where they have all gotten closer, Nikki will simply hope they can get past the entire situation. Nikki, Claire, and Victoria will all appreciate a group hug as they rejoice that Jordan's terror reign is now over. Jordan will tell herself at the hospital that she needs to maintain her composure. Jordan exited that room due to the poison, thus she will pretend that the plan was successful. Jordan's only goal at this point is to remain in the hospital long enough to consider her options. Jordan will appear irritated as she tries in vain to rip her arm out because she will be shackled to her hospital bed. Stay tuned for more predictions on what's in store, as the young and the restless spoilers suggest that Jordan may have a few more tricks up her sleeve in the future. The next update for today. Taking leadership and making startling choices. Discover what awaits your beloved Genoa City favorites. Spoilers for the young and the restless next week of March 25th to 29th hint to characters tidying up after themselves, taking command, lending assistance, and in dire need of a ton of support. You won't want to skip YNR this week. Organizing disarray everywhere. Lily Winters, Crystal Khalil, who here teases a whole new Lily, returns to a perfect storm of toxic mess after a long time away from Genoa City. Now that he has fixed it himself, Daniel has reconciled with his ex-wife, and she must deal with him in her personal life. She has to deal with an excessive number of chefs in the kitchen at Chancellor Winters in her job life. Watch for Lily to address each of her problems one at a time. She first takes care of unresolved business with Heather. It is not good if Heather needs to inquire as to whether she has been dismissed from CW. Second, everyone's job life is a living hell at work because of a variety of egos and ambitions. So it should come as no surprise that Lily chooses to be the boss at work. The organization needs to have a single voice and goal. Why shouldn't Lily own it? Providing and receiving assistance. What has become of Adam? He used to be a self-assured gentleman who could stand his own. However, he is now losing arguments with almost everyone. He and Chelsea are currently at odds on how to support Connor, and the troubled young man is taking advantage of this. Will Adam and Chelsea be able to collaborate to support their son in adjusting to his diagnosis? Fortunately, Sally, Courtney Hope, who recently marked her pet's milestone birthday, is there to offer him some consolation. Is Nick really giving his half-brother advice when he gives it to him without asking? Should Adam accept it or disregard it if it isn't? Have these brothers' relationships really improved? Strangers and Ends Audra is said to make a startling choice. Audra is going to say, Goodbye, to Tucker for all time if this is an unexpected decision for her. Perhaps she also notices Ashley is genuinely in need of assistance. Does Audra switch to Ashley's team? In relation to it, Ashley's sister and brother are still concerned for her. Not only are Jack and Tracy the most recent residents of Genoa City to realize anything is amiss with Ashley. Will they, however, take action regarding it first? Ashley needs to receive some serious assistance from someone. And lastly, who would have guessed that Diane would be worrying more about her son than Phyllis, Ashley, and Nikki combined? Kyle is still a problem at work. Diane keeps saying what she thinks of her son's refusal to act like a subservient to his mother by putting aside his ego. Can these two set their differences aside before they cause irreversible harm to their relationship? Geneva City will soon welcome a new Harrison. Details can be found here. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.